Hello again everyone. Uh, today I was at the hospital for round 8 of my 12 chemotherapy rounds and uh, things seem to go alright. I'm feeling okay at the moment. Um, I, uh, apart from having some cravings for chips and gravy on the way home. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Body does strange things on these drugs. And um, yeah, so I'll go back in tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday um, for, for more uh, drugs. So yeah, this time um, I brought my chemotherapy for today uh, to be the Monday start. Uh, that's because I want to go to a music festival on the weekend, WOMAD, and uh, quite excited about that. And yeah, a bit uh, concerned though about having nausea and yeah, just feeling unwell during the concert. So, uh, but fingers crossed, all all will go well. Um, my blood levels this time were kind of borderline in terms of. You know whether they consider doing treatment or not they were kind of right on the on the margin so that's a bit concerning as well since i've got a um uh you know a daughter in the house at the moment that's sick or a little bit has been a bit sick so yeah don't really want to end up in the hospital with uh, with some kind of illness uh yeah for those that don't know yeah you're at greater risk i guess as a result of the chemotherapy and depleting your immune system um yeah my daughter um started kindy last week and um will hopefully go tomorrow i think she's feeling well enough and uh i've been doing the couple of the school bus runs ferrying some uh, kids some local neighbors to the school as well so uh that's been entertaining and uh but a bit of pressure as well at the same time i um i being a, a paramedic i have these images of car crashes in my head and uh driving a car full of uh four kids from three different families it just uh, feels like a lot of responsibility having all that <coughs> dna in my car so yeah but uh i'm sure i'll get over it and uh, an interesting symptom that i've had is um these these odd kind of um sensations from my limbs where particularly my arms where sometimes they just feel enormous like uh, i'll be lying in bed and i feel like i've got these big hulk arms that are just i don't know it's very difficult to, to describe um and yeah another one of these cruel um tricks from the universe and is i definitely don't have hulk arms on me but uh yeah very strange sensation and also um, i've had it before where i've been in bed and just feeling space around me this huge void or distance um or feeling like the bed is enormous um yeah my wife could be you know lying a foot away from me but it just feels like uh you know meters between us um so yeah it's an interesting one but quite transient not really a, a great concern I've decided to take uh, a little bit of a relaxed approach or more relaxed approach to certain things. Um, since my diagnosis, I decided again I wasn't going to drink alcohol. Uh, I'd had a bout before where I, I didn't drink at all for, I think, three or four years. And uh, so I thought I, I would do that again. But um, I don't know, I've just found setting too many rules. Uh, it's on my mind too often about you know cancer causes and and uh food and and things and i just think i need to relax a little bit so i have had in the last couple of weeks probably like three drinks um so yeah i'm not exactly binging but um yeah just those times when i'm out or i went to a buck show the other night and i i decided to have a beer for uh for the buck so yeah i, I just think overall i've got to take an attitude of of just relaxing a little bit and um and treating myself occasionally. There's been a few times when I've been having uh, chemotherapy at the hospital and I find it interesting just the differences in, in patients that I come across in the hospital. Uh, there's been a few people that are younger uh, you know, than the average patient in there, um, you know, people in their 30s, 40s. And I'm finding that, um, how can I say this, they've got a lot to complain about. <laughs> they, uh, whether it's the hospital facilities or the time that it takes for chemo. and uh, Whereas today I went into a room where there were four or so um, patients that were probably in their 60s, 70s, 
and it was just a different atmosphere. They were relaxed, they were calm. It's like there's a feeling of acceptance and um, you know the nurses who were just rushed off their feet today, crazy busy, and they, they were asking the patients if they'd want a cup of tea or a drink and the patients were like, no, you have a rest. You look like you need rest more than what I do. And uh, you know the patients are more concerned about the nurses than, than the other way around. So I don't know if that's a generational thing or perhaps these people have been having chemo for a lot longer or uh, I don't know. It's, but it was an interesting dynamic. I'm considering uh, a new career path where I've been looking for quite some time actually and uh, uh, I thought I would have this time off from work and, and give me a chance to to explore some different options but I haven't come up with anything yet. Uh, well, however today I, um, I thought that perhaps I'll, I'll um, look at study again and um, psychology is something that's always interested me. I did one semester of that at university years ago. And uh, it was my favourite subject, even though I, it was probably my lowest grades that I got of all my subjects. But So I'm considering doing something on that line, or counselling, which I think is um, yeah, something now with my new <clears throat> life outlook might, uh, might be a benefit to people. And uh, yeah, my experience, I guess, in the health industry as well. So yeah, if you've got suggestions about uh, things I can study, places I can study online, universities, I'm not sure, um, yeah, please let me know. Um, you can reply to this video or, or uh, post them to the email that's on my website. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll uh, update you on WOMAD after I've been. Okay, bye.